What's going on guys, it's your boy Klaus by Shinobi What's going on guys, it's your boy Klaus by Shinobi and welcome back to a brand new reaction Today we're going to be reacting to the Marvel Spider-Man to the story trailer. Um, if you don't know what Marvel Spider-Man is, it is the game for the PlayStation that went absolutely ballistics when it dropped. And then Miles Morales, the DLC for game kind of situation dropped and also did uh, was an absolute banger. Like when that dropped, bro, I remember, I think it dropped during Christmas time, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, during the holidays, seeing the whole snow and everything just look good like the graphic update from the original spider-man marvel game to miles morales was mind-blowing and from the first little gameplay thing that we've seen about number two it has also been a mind-blowing upgrade which is a lot to say because usually in games um especially nowadays there's little there's barely any actual graphical jumps when it comes to a new version of a game simply because we we're kind of reaching peak technology when it comes to game designing like if they get any more realistic we're damn near going to be playing be in the game ourselves right so it's really just about um the small things and like gang mechanics that are like considered upgrades nowadays and not really graphics but somehow some way they managed to pull off a more deeper and graphical like masterpiece from what we've seen so far and i'm just excited to see about this um i got a little speculation about who venom is because like they said uh it won't be eddie brock like in the original uh spider-man you know movies and things like that and comics so i know i feel like i know who eddie brock is going to be or venom is going to be um so with that being said i'm gonna say that for the end of the video and make sure to like comment subscribe and let's get into the reaction Somnia Games. It's a miracle I'm here now. I got a second chance. Oh, that's Harry. I was saying, who the heck is that? But I need you with me, Pete. We're gonna heal the world. They really did not budge when people started complaining about their new Peter Parker face, bro. They just stuck with it. Hey guys, this oh is my, my best friend Harry. Gosh. Hey. Good to meet you. Uh, new job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Oh, Miles getting jealous, bro. I didn't know there were bears in these woods. I forgot. I completely forgot Craven hey, was gonna be part of this. I name for you. Craven. He's here on some kind of hunt. You know, if you need me, I'm just a call away. I'm pretty Which sure that was the symbiote we just seen. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Wait, was that Martin Lee, bro? Oh my gosh. Me. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider Man. How to help you. What the hell is going on with me? He's not himself. Go help him. Yeah, but Peter was coming at Demon. This was our dream. That was so clean. You gotta clap it up, bro. You gotta clap it up for the Spider Man, bro. A 2023 Spider Man game with Venom in it is going to be crazy, bro. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to play this game in general. Sadly, I'm on PC, so. I ain't gonna be playing it anytime soon. But um bro. First of all, I wanna say my theory about who Venom is. Basically, it's Harry. You know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people already knew that because if you watch the ending of the first game, we see Harry is in a container like thing and um what's his name? Green Goblin, uh 
I forgot. I literally forgot his name. I just know it's Osborne. Walks up to the thing and he's talking. He's talking to Harry, and in the thing we see the symbiote in there. So it was a dead giveaway of who the next Venom would be, and we. I it like slipped almost everybody's mind because even when they revealed that Eddie Brock wasn't going to be Venom, no one really jumped to the theory that it was going to be harry right and that's probably because it, the game came out such a long time ago that a lot of people just forgot about the end of the game but recently i watched agent double zero from a p walk through it and at the ending of the game we saw the symbiote again and it refreshed my memory and i also remember after they revealed the game how they said that um eddie brock wasn't going to be venom anymore so i just put two and two together and i was like whoa bro harry is going to be venom so it's going to be fire not only to see from what i remember eddie brock isn't anything close to peter parker if i'm not mistaken he's just kind of like um he kind of like took peter's job at the daily bugle as a photographer if i'm not mistaken and things like that and they're kind of they were kind of like always rivals in a sense right and but compared to Harry, Harry is actually Peter's best friend. So if Harry is the one that becomes Venom, which is basically already stated in multiple ways, um, then just being able to imagine the kind of tension and like how that's going to affect their whole relationship, especially after Harry was away on vacation this whole time and he just comes back. And it's kind of like Peter would be expecting Harry to act the same and be the same. And I'm 100% sure that Harry won't be anything like he was with both when he left with Peter, right? Um, and I feel like because at the end, his dad um norman that's the name norman was like uh i'll fix you this down the third whoop -de whoop and we saw the symbiote in there so i'm guessing the symbiote attached to harry which was like we saw a clip in here that was something like that right Let's see if i can find it no. this this part if i'm not mistaken this right here is harry this is when he first finds the symbiote which would be take place before spider-man the first game and after this, the symbiote attaches to him and his father tries to do everything he can, I guess, to separate him from the symbiote so he can, you know, go back to normal. But I'm guessing that also fails in a sense or his father thought he did because if we go to this clip right here with them standing in front of the, uh, the container with the symbiote, with the symbiote behind him, right? It's, it kind of significant signifies that norman removed harry from the container and left the symbiote in there so they're no 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 longer one and the same right um and it's actually kind of crazy how much harry and peter look the same in this game like i'm actually like they look like twins bro um but yeah so it signifies that his father thought it would be successful but i don't think that it really will be successful or it is and somehow the symbiote releases and attaches to spider-man it's down the third the whole woo thing about how it gets off spider-man and then attaches to eddie brock in this case harry is going to happen da -da -da. you know what i'm saying so uh maybe it was successful in what norman does that's one thing about the story changing that's kind of you know blurry because we we because the character changed we don't know how much of the story actually changes and how spider-man gets it and how then harry gets it this down the third you know what i'm saying so it's all just about um how the writers go about it if they want to keep the original kind of pieces of it or if they just want to change the whole kind of dynamic of venom as a whole together right and that's the very interesting part about it and i'm very excited for this game if you cannot tell because i've i'm ranting on but um make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about my theory about harry being venom and with that being said it's been about cause best shinobi and i'm out peace nah, nah.